We've been told Australia's tough lockdowns and border closures haven't turned people off booking the long-haul flight. Marcel Fuchs is the Managing Director of International Sales at United Airlines. I spoke with him a short time ago. Marcel Fuchs, thank you very much for your time. Today is hugely significant for Australia. In the markets that you're dealing with, is this as significant for your airline? It is, it is a big day. It's absolutely awesome. We're so happy. You know, we obviously are in the business of uh, flying customers from the US over to Australia. And we've been in the market for over 35 years. And we actually were the only airline that kept, to kept flying between uh, San Francisco uh, and Los Angeles to Sydney. And so today is just a, ma a massive big day and, and really happy about being able to, you know, fly over fully vaccinated customers without any restriction. It seems that you're starting up slowly. I mean, some of the key routes, uh, you know, say, for example, Melbourne to San Francisco, you're not starting that until May. Is that because you are sensing any reticence in the marketplace that we've maybe been closed too long? No, it's actually simply ramping up capacity, right, and being cautious and not deploying too many seats. Uh, but look, we, since the announcement two weeks ago, we've seen a strong uh, influx of bookings. If you plan a trip to Australia, you need a little bit more time. We know it's just an amazing uh, destination. It's on the bucket list uh, for many Americans to do at least once, if not more than that. And we know there'll be a strong uh, demand for travel. Are you at all cautious about, uh, you know, the potential for our state premiers, for example, to close borders if they get nervous about the virus spreading? I mean, because that, you know, you don't want to, you want to get all your flights going and then all of a sudden borders close and it messes up people's travel plans. Well, you know, from a travel perspective, uh, our experience is based on the home market in the US that, uh, you know, people are get, getting on with their lives, right? And from a travel perspective, Omicron is mostly uh, behind us, of course, given the, the right uh, safety precautions, like wearing a mask, for instance, on the airplane. And uh, so we are pretty bullish about adding uh, seats, as you mentioned. We're adding, you know, a three weekly service between Melbourne and San Francisco. We're planning to do that. And then later in the year also, uh, we'll be back with our Houston to Sydney service as well. So when you sort of look at the next uh, six, seven, eight months, you know, our intention is to ramp up to about 80 or 90 percent of the pre-COVID capacity we had. And does the American market see Australia as a, a fairly simple travel free place to travel um, in terms of COVID precautions? Well, I think now it is, right? All you do is get tested before departure and then when you arrive in Sydney without quarantine, the minute these quarantine requirements go away, you know, border and borders are open, then really it is perceived as easy to, to travel. And what do we need to do uh, as a government and in terms of our tourism industry to make Australia, to, to ramp this up, to make Australia immediately uh, appealing to international travellers? Well, I think Tourism Australia is doing an awesome job in promoting us, Australia and, you know, a number of other destination bureaus from different states as well. That's exactly what we need to do through a social media and marketing campaign to restart, you know, the interest of uh, consumers, sort of choice for travel. I know obviously we compete with different destinations, but, you know, we've seen that the, uh, the market to Australia has been so resilient for us and it's such an important international destination. Uh, not only do we add seats uh, in uh, May and in October, we've also recently announced a commercial agreement with Virgin Australia that will allow uh, pricing and connectivity for Americans to go to Adelaide, to Perth, to Brisbane. It's a one-stop shop. You're not yet back to normal, obviously, on your Australian routes. Are you back to normal on any of your international routes yet? Well, actually, if you look at the US domestic, you know, we've seen uh, visit friends and relative business, leisure business, almost back to 2019 uh, levels. Of course, there was a slight setback with Omicron, which is now behind us, but also business travel is coming back as well. We've all heard the stories over the last two years of international pilots who are now driving trucks because their work dried up, of course, and flight attendants who are working in supermarkets. As you've stood your workforce back up again coming out of this, are those people that you lost um, your priority to, to be giving them their jobs back? 
Well, we've been very, very fortunate at United Airlines that we actually didn't let go uh, any any pilots at all in, in the foresight that the business will, will return quickly. You, you're right, there is, of course, a pain point with some of the frontline employees to get them back, but also because some people have had simply different plans and left the industry. So we're actively you know, bringing people back, specifically at our hubs uh, in the US, to make sure we can provide the service our customers expect from us. All right. Thank you for your time. Big day here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the program. Thanks so much. Marcel Fuchs from United Airlines.